In the ancient land of the Olmecs, circa 700 BCE, nestled amidst the steamy jungles of Mesoamerica, lived the Xochitl family. They were simple farmers dwelling in the city of San Lorenzo, surrounded by the enigmatic and colossal stone heads that stood as guardians to their civilization. The Olmec city was a marvel of early urban planning. Xochitl's family home was constructed from wattle and daub, a blend of woven branches and mud plaster, offering respite from the humid tropical climate. The sloping thatched roof provided ample shade, and the raised floors protected them from flooding during the rainy season. Xochitl's father, Tlacailil, was a skilled craftsman, and he had taught his children the art of making tools from the abundant resources of the jungle. They crafted stone axes, obsidian knives, and wooden implements that made their everyday tasks more manageable. These tools were essential for farming, hunting, and carving intricate designs into wooden figurines. One day, as Xochitl and her younger brother, Tepin, explored the city, they gazed upon the colossal stone heads for which the Olmecs were renowned. These massive sculptures, each weighing several tons, depicted stern, colossal faces carved from volcanic stone. They were a testament to the Olmecs' advanced stoneworking techniques, using primitive tools like stone mallets and chisels to create these enigmatic statues. The Xochitl family lived in harmony with nature. They cultivated maize, beans, and squash in fertile terraced fields using wooden digging sticks and stone hoes. Their agricultural expertise was reflected in the intricate system of raised beds and canals that maximized crop yields, providing sustenance for the growing city. Xochitl's mother, Sitlali, was a master of pottery, crafting intricate vessels and figurines from local clay. The family relied on her skills to store water, cook food, and create ceremonial offerings. The city's architecture featured similar pottery techniques, with adobe bricks and clay mortar forming the foundations of their homes. The Olmecs were also adept at crafting jewelry and ornaments. Xochitl's grandmother, Ayautli, taught her the art of working with jade, a precious stone sourced from the nearby mountains. They meticulously carved intricate designs into jade pendants, earrings, and figurines, which were highly valued by neighboring tribes and traders. As Xochitl grew older, she became fascinated by the religious practices of the Olmecs. The city's architecture featured grand pyramids, where ceremonies were held to honor their deities. She often witnessed her people engage in rituals, including the mysterious ball game, where two teams competed to propel a heavy rubber ball through a stone ring using only their hips. The ball game held deep spiritual significance and was an integral part of Olmec culture. Over the years, the Xochitl family continued to thrive in San Lorenzo, their lives intertwined with the intricate architecture, tools, and technologies of their time. They remained humble farmers and skilled artisans living in reverence of their ancestors and the enigmatic stone heads that watched over their ancient civilization. As the centuries passed, the Olmec civilization would pave the way for the great Mesoamerican cultures that followed, leaving behind a legacy of innovation and artistry that would continue to inspire generations to come.